Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create an awesome coffee video ad using simple Canva features like rotate animation and video background remover. Let's dive in and make your coffee shop stand out. Go to canva.com and select video. Once you're in the editor, go to the side panel and select elements. On the object panel, Scroll down a little bit until you see frames. Then simply click See All. Hover to the Flowers collection and click See All again. Then click this particular frame. I wasn't able to find a shape that visualizes the vision I have for this theme, so I decided to use frames instead. Just a pro tip, frames are shapes too. So you can always change your colors as how you would recolor a regular shape. Let's color it dark purple like so. This shape will now serve as the negative space of the steam. Duplicate it and start laying them out like this. Put a rectangle below the frame. Color it dark purple and send it to back. At this point, you can now see how the steam forms in the middle of these shapes. To make it more convincing, let's top it off with rotate animation. So click first the shape on the left, hit animate, then scroll a little bit until you see the add motion effect section. Select rotate, drag the speed slider all the way to the left. Click the counterclockwise icon so it rotates like so. Apply the same setting to the other shape, but make it rotate clockwise this time. Add another page, then copy paste the shape from page 1 to page 2. On page 2, lay them out like this. And make sure that the steam is flowing towards the lower right. Add another page to create page 3, then copy paste the same elements to page 3 and lay them out like this. Making sure that the steam is flowing toward the upper left. Add the final page to create page 4 and again paste the elements on page 4. Place the elements like this and make sure that the steam is flowing upward this time while creating a V-lag form. Make sure to recolor the backgrounds of pages 2 to 4 to pink. Hit play and that's how you create and animate this theme. Starting with page 1, let's establish the source of the steam. Since we aim to sell coffee, the most obvious choice is to depict a cup of steaming coffee. So search for a coffee cup on the object panel. I think this photo is perfect for this. Take out the background using the background remover. Lay them out like this. And this actually creates a narrative that Sip and Rip's coffee is not only steamy, but its aroma creates a fun yet relaxing atmosphere and mood. To add more depth, we can incorporate a subtle shadow element beneath the cup, angling towards the left, given that the light source is coming from the right side of the frame. Using Tan Songbird, type Sip and Drip by typing each letter individually. Color everything pink. Lay them out on a curved formation, then add some depth through scaling. Select Sip and Drip and add a white outline using the outline text effect. Select Sip, duplicate the letters, and color everything dark purple. Position them like this, and make sure to put them behind each letter.
and just apply the same instruction for a drip. Now select N, then add the dark purple outline. Duplicate it. Color it dark purple. Position it like this. Then send it back. Finally, duplicate the N again and make it a white outline. Then put it on top. Now type E sip in till, then add text curve effect. Lay it out like this, duplicate it, place it below, then simply type the last drop. Now go to page 2, then type B7. On page 3, type till the last drop in 4 lines. Finally, go to the last page and type order now in 2 lines. Go to page 2, and on this page, we want to add something that will flow along this theme. So we can maybe add a clip of falling coffee beans that can flow this direction. To save some time, I already prepared the clip in advance, which I got from the library. Rotate it like this so it flows along the theme. Then apply a video background remover. Then go to page 3, add this clip of a woman enjoying her coffee, then apply background remover again. Make sure these shapes are on top of the clips to add some depth. Set the duration of page 1 to 5 seconds, page 2 to 2.5 seconds, page 3 to 3.2 seconds, and page 4 to 3.5 seconds. On page 1, apply shift animation to each letter of zip. Set the animate setting to on enter. Drag the speed slider all the way to the right. Change the writing style to character and set the direction to right. And just apply all the same setting to drip. But just make sure to set the direction to the right this time. For N, apply baseline animation. Set it to on enter. Make the speed 15%. And set the direction up. Apply shift animation on the subtext. And set the animate to on enter. For page 2, add shift animation to be sipping. Select on enter, set the speed to 40%, select word, and set the direction to down. Then simply apply the same setting to page 3 and 4. Finally, go to page 3 and scrub through the clip to show her doing thumbs up after sipping. Make some final adjustments. Hit play, and there you have it. I hope you've learned something today, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave some comments. And if you love this video, I am pretty sure you'll like my other tutorials flashing on your screen right now. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next one.